Okay, we got the Future Labs N7S air purifier. Let's check it out. Okay, here are directions. Okay, nice, they're in Chinese. All right, this side is English. Okay, so you have the option to use an air socket to use this in your car. I've seen where people actually put this in a refrigerator. So that's a, that's a thought, I never thought about doing that. But this is our instructions. You connect it. Okay, so you charge it. Okay. Oh, this feels nice. This feels has nice weight to it. It does not feel cheap or inexpensive. It feels very good. I've, I've purchased other um, air purifiers and they feel kind of cheap. This has a nice little weight to it. It's not heavy, but you can tell it's metal. It's, you can tell it's made with quality. So that's a good thing. Okay. Here's the cable. All right. Sorry for making this too long. This is how you charge it, apparently. Okay, I'm not familiar with what these are. I guess I gotta do some reading to find out. Or maybe they're combinable, like you can stack them on top of each other if you have more than one. That could possibly be it. But you would charge. Let's power this thing on. Okay, press the bottom button, powers it on. It's green. So green indicates that it's good air. Actually, let me take that back. Green signal um, indicates that the ozone disinfection is on. Okay. Oh, yep. I can smell it. I can smell it. Orange light flashing is charging mode. Orange light constantly on means it's fully charged. Oh yeah, I can smell it though. The ozone is disinfecting. I'm not too crazy about the ozone smell, but um, it's definitely powerful. So far, I like it. Nice, compact, multiple uses. You can carry with you in the car, which is what I'm probably gonna do. I'm gonna try it in the fridge as well. It's supposed to keep your uh, fruits and vegetables fresher for longer. So we'll see about that. So far, so good.